Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we're here in the garage in Phoenix, Arizona, because I can't do what I'm about to do inside. It's gonna make too much of a mess. But we're gonna continue the series of the Sleepy Halloween. This will be part six. I've got the uh, display base here it's uh you guys have seen this it's uh it's got the sand it's got the riverbed painted it's got everything ready to put the grass down on it and so the way we're going to do that is i got a box of um forest moss from amazon it's a five pound box i'll leave a link in the description of the video below but uh this stuff is uh i mean this is it it this it's a big huge box of uh, moss and I'll kind of show you I mean they packed it to the brim uh, with with moss and so if you were to go buy this at Michael's or Joann's or something like that this would cost you an absolute fortune and I believe this was like I don't I don't I'll, again I'll leave a, a link to in the description below but it was not over 65 or 70 dollars now that's a lot of money for moss I get it but you're paying $20 a bag for probably not even a pound of moss uh, at the uh, at the store. So this is a much better deal and I'm gonna be using a lot of this this season. So that's why I chose to go with this. So I've got that out and ready to go. I've got the white glue out. And again, this is just Craft Smart white school glue, PVA glue, whatever you wanna call it. I've got that out. Uh, I'm gonna use a uh, old paintbrush to apply that, you'll see that. And then I'm gonna take the moss and I'm gonna use this uh, lid to a, uh, basically a disposable uh, foil container. And I'm gonna shred the moss into, just with my hands, into something a little more fine and make sure a lot of the dirt and everything is out of it. And then essentially what we're gonna do is take the glue and spread a lot of that onto the areas we want the moss. And we're going to put it on and pat it down and let it sit overnight and dry. Now, if you guys have seen my other videos, you know that I like to use hot glue, but this is a pretty big project and I want to try to change things up. I think this will be a little bit less expensive, probably a little bit simpler. It's going to take a little bit longer to dry, but it's so hot here right now. It is right now, it is 109 degrees and I've got ventilation going in the garage, but it feels like it's 120 some odd degrees in the garage. So and it's 6 15 in the evening so if that tells you anything it gets pretty hot so regardless this will dry then overnight and then when before we're done with this whole thing before we pour the resin we're going to take a glue water mixture and we're going to soak the whole top half of this thing in a glue water mixture anyway so that's going to really cement it down and crunch it up and and it's not going to go anywhere and i think it's going to turn out just fine so Hey, with that, let me get set up. I'll bring the camera down, show you how I'm gonna shred this moss, and then we'll start putting glue down and start working. Okay, so I just took a, a, a little bit of moss and put it in here. One of the reasons I bought this moss is on the advertisement for it, it said that it was, uh, they did a lot of, um, tried to get a lot of the dirt out of it before they ship it. So we'll see if that holds true. So basically I'm just gonna take it and start kind of shredding it up. Now, I don't know if you can see some of the the smoke here, the dirt uh, fly, but it's there's not a lot of dirt in it, honestly. I'm pretty, pretty impressed. I mean, they're not gonna be able to get all of it out, uh, clearly, but our job now is to just kind of shred it up. There may be a better way to do this, but this is the way we're using today. Okay, so I've got a lot of that shredded up, uh, and I think it's about as good as it's going to get. And so I've got uh, some glue in the bottom of this and an old paintbrush, and I'll rinse this out of the glue. But we're just going to start kind of at the top here and start putting some glue down, and uh, we'll see what, uh, what this looks like uh, as we do that.
Okay, so that's really all there is to it. Now that's going to sit and dry. I'm going to, you'll see me do, I'm going to do the rest of the platform just like that. I'm going to shred some moss, put some glue down, and then just keep going until I get every area that needs to have grass on it, have grass on it. And then uh, it's just going to sit here overnight and dry. And then tomorrow we'll come back and put some glue water mixture on it uh, after we add some details to it and uh, go from there. So uh, take a look and let's get this thing finished. Okay, sorry about that. In all the days of me making videos, my phone overheated and shut down on its own. It had this little thermometer that said, phone is too hot to operate. I don't know if you can see the sweat on my forehead, but it is hot <laughs> out here in this garage. However, uh, I am co it is coming along nicely. I've got this whole side done, uh, and I'm working on this side here now. So I'm gonna continue. You guys have seen most of this. It's really just dabbing glue on and then putting this stuff down and pressing down on it with your hands. But with that, let's see how long we can go before this, uh, before this shuts down again. Okay, so uh, the camera did shut down again, so we're not gonna we're not gonna do this anymore in the garage. I did finish it, so I want to show you kind of the way it looks uh, for now. Obviously, this is going to sit and dry, and then all this excess is going to be pulled off to better show the roadway and the pathways and everything else. But so far, it looks really good, and so we're just gonna let that. Uh, sit out here for uh, about 24 hours or so at least the rest of the night and let that uh, uh, cure i used uh, interesting i want you to see how much moss i used uh, not much at all so you can kind of see just a little bit uh, on this entire project so i've got so much of this stuff left which is which is great. I'm just going to leave it out in the garage. It'll continue to dry out and, and be ready to use it. It is a little dirty. They did say they washed it and got most of the dirt out. I think that's true. Uh, very little dirt. It's mostly all, all moss, uh, which is great. So it's better to break it apart and, and do that. Um, so it's a little bit finer to use. Uh, and so I'm pretty satisfied. Uh, I'm definitely going to go in and cool off uh, and we'll finish the video uh, inside. Okay, guys, that's going to wrap it up for part six of this tutorial. Man, I'm telling you, it is, uh, I love Arizona. We love where we live, but it is hot. As you witnessed my phone, well, you didn't really witness. It just kind of went blank, and so you just saw an edit. So, but what happened was it got so hot in the garage that the phone overheated and shut itself off. And I uh, actually had to put it uh, in our garage refrigerator, cool it off a little bit to finish the video. It is still 108 degrees outside it's just after 7 p.m and that's not too awfully bad it certainly gets hotter than that but irrespective of the heat here in arizona part six of the tutorial is wrapped up you saw how we put grass on i usually use the um, hot glue gun but this time i wanted to use the white pva glue spread that out rather thick i used the moss that i got from amazon again the link to that is in the description of the video below was able to put that on pretty thick and just smash it down in there. And then that's gonna sit in that sauna that we call a garage for the next uh, 12 to 14, uh, 16 hours, something like that. Midday tomorrow, it should be dry. And we'll go into part seven of this video. And that's where we're gonna start detailing. We're gonna put the houses on to make sure everything fits. We're gonna put the sign on to make sure everything looks right. But then we're gonna start putting 
uh, some trees and how we're going to place the trees. And then that's going to dictate how we put our fall foliage on there. And we're going to start putting all that on. And then once that's all done, we've got to decorate the riverbed. We've got to make sure that's ready to go. We're going to glue everything down with a glue water mixture. And then finally, we're going to pour the resin. And then there's a couple of steps after we pour the resin. We're going to put some ripples into the water. We're going to create the waterfall off the front of the vignette. So still a ways to go. So I'm anticipating somewhere probably around uh, nine or ten parts to this tutorial. So rather in-depth, but hopefully you guys are enjoying it. And hopefully you're learning. So, hey, with that, if you've liked what you've seen on this video, please make sure you click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Again, it helps the channel to grow. If you, th if you have folks or friends that would like uh, videos like this, share the videos. Help me to grow the channel. Uh, at some point, I'm just over 1,400 subscribers. Once I get somewhere around maybe 2,000, I am going to reach out to Hotwire Foam Factory. I am going to reach out to Department 56 and potentially Lee Max and ask them to if they want to sponsor the channel. It's pretty unique. There's not a lot of sites that, are, that do this. And so if they can help sponsor it, it'll help the channel to grow. And then hopefully I'll get some things to review and help you guys make a better decision on what you're going to go forward with for your Halloween and spooky season. So with that, take care of yourselves. We'll talk to you again real soon.